The mad titan Thanos has once again set foot on the devastated planet he once used to call his home. However, he was not there to celebrate his success or anything. He was there to remember who he really is. Decades ago in the prosperous city of Titan, a woman named Sui gave birth to an unusual child. His father named him Thanos. The doctors wanted to run some genetic tests on him, but his father utterly refused. His mother intended to kill him the moment she saw his horrible face. She warned her husband and the doctors that this child would ruin Titan, and that she could see death in his eyes. The children at the school also called him a monster. However, these things didn't seem to bother Thanos that much, as he'd politely explain that his appearance is due to a genetic condition. Being the smartest kid in school, all the other children wanted to be friends with him, and within no time, Thanos was the most popular kid in school. His father, being the most important man in Titan, was always busy and had no time for his son. When Thanos asked him about how he and his mother met, his father adamantly ignored him and said that he was busy. Thanos would visit his mother once in a while and talk to her. His mother, however, was too afraid to even look him in the eyes. Thanos told her about a dream he had. In his dream, he saw someone trying to stab him with a knife. Following this, he told her that he likes his class fellow, Cythera, and will propose to her with some flowers. One day, as Thanos was playing with his friends, some girls were gossiping about his appearance, and one of those girls seemed suspiciously interested in him. She wanted Thanos to notice her. Thanos wanted to become a scientist like his father, and for this purpose he had to slice open organisms to study them. The first time he pierced a lizard, he immediately puked and went outside. The girl who was interested in him was also there. She encouraged him and told him about a special place. Later on, Thanos went to that place alongside Cythera and some other friends. As they were wandering around, some rocks fell on them and separated Thanos from his friends. Following three days of intense digging, Thanos finally managed to get back to his friends. However, the only things left of them were bones, as the lizards had killed them. This news spread like fire as no child had died on Titan in 200 years. Thanos was devastated. He wanted revenge. The strange girl once again motivated him to do what he wanted. Thanos took a knife with him and went to that cave again. Upon reaching that accursed place, Thanos absolutely obliterated all the lizards in that cave. Following this incident, Thanos was no longer afraid to dissect organisms. He had gathered such intense knowledge that there was no one on Titan who could teach him anything. Instead, he was the one who taught his professors and mocked them. He possessed the highest grades in the history of Titan. In order to learn more about creatures, Thanos had been dissecting them in his home lab. He even managed to capture a cave ape. It took him months to capture one alive. The reason he was doing all this was because he wanted answers. The reason behind his existence. However, even after dissecting a full cave bear... There was nothing. The girl told him that he was seeking answers in the wrong place. Thanos was shocked after hearing this. According to him, everyone had failed him, including his parents, his professors, and even himself. Thanos would do anything for answers, and this time around he decided to capture his class fellows and dissect them. Even though it felt wrong, he still continued, and this marked the beginning of Titan's downfall. There hadn't been a single case of murder ever since Titan's existence. There was no concept of murder, and Thanos was the one who invented it. In the midst of all this, Thanos' mother had returned home. As they were having dinner, his grandfather and father were having an argument regarding the disappearance of citizens. Thanos' grandfather, Kronos, firmly believed that it was murder. However, his father refused to believe so. After his father left Thanos and his mother alone at the dining table, his mother told him that she knows who he is. Thanos mocked her by saying that she doesn't. Not even Thanos himself knows who he is. As Thanos was burying the people he had murdered, Thanos realized that some questions are better left unanswered, and that he'll never kill anyone again. However, the girl once again manipulated him by playing with his thoughts. She made him believe that he enjoyed dissecting people. After being spaced out for a while, Thanos agreed that he enjoyed cutting them open. After saying this, he asked the girl to run away with him. He believed that she was the only one who understood him. The girl, however, slapped Thanos and told him that she cannot love someone as weak as him. He's just a lonely little boy god who's frightened of himself. Following this conversation, Thanos kidnaps his own mother, Sui, to slice her up and look for answers inside her belly. He even apologized for this and told her that after slicing her up, he'll stop being a monster. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.